The MS3.18 billion barometer, a model that is smallest size but capable of a great performance and high quality results. If you take a look to the Chatbot Arena leaderboard, you will find that the LMS 3.18 billion barometer instruct sit in the top 40 model. This model is about 5 giga Bytes. so it's in terms of GPU consuming it's very low it have 128 key context links which make it act like a big parameter model this model support seven different languages of course English German French Italian Portuguese Hindi Spanish and Thai it's very good in terms of language capability for a small model. According to AI Meta Benchmark, the LMS 3.1 8 billion barometer model, Beatboost, Gamma 2, Mistral 7B Instruct, and GBT 3.5 Turbo. Well, the benchmark on itself is right, you can take a look at it, but honestly, I don't believe the benchmark score until I test the model myself and compare it to another well established model. In my case, I compared it to the GBT 3.5 Turbo and I asked it only five questions. For the first question, I'm gonna ask it a complex question for me. Both of them got it very wrong, so it's gonna tie over here. In the second question, we have a logic and reasoning questions. Linda has three sisters, Paul has four sisters. Can Linda and Paul be siblings? This will test the logic and reasoning capability of the model and the answer should be yes in the lemma side the model kind of give me a straight answer the final answer is no linda and all cannot be siblings but the gbt 3.5 tell me yes he can be siblings in the third question we're gonna ask it mass in natural language is 5050 less than 560 Okay, in terms of logic and reasoning and math, so far the 8B is kind of bad, but the GBT 3.5 Turbo is better. In our fourth question, we're gonna ask it to create a snake game using Bygame and Bison and see the code, which one of them will work. So, testing the 8B model code, let's see, yeah, it's a game is functional. Let's eat one, it doesn't get bigger, but yeah, it function score is calculated correctly it's moving right and uh, let's see let's hit the wall yep yep i lost it's working as almost as i wanted to but it's not perfect because the snake doesn't get bigger that's this the gbt 3.5 the gbt 3.5 turbo actually doesn't work give me an error i'm not gonna debug it but i am testing the code out so that 3.5 one eight billion barometer actually giving me better code than the GBT 3.5. I mean, it lost in math, lost in logic and reasoning, but in coding, it's performing better. The last question that I have is logic and reasoning. Answer should be six. It's tried to calculate the number of people inside a bus, but it's have a little bit of trick. So let's send it and see which one will give us the correct results. Okay, so the GBT 3.5 Turbo is far off in term of the number is the number should be six and uh, here it give me 10 i don't know why but 8 billion parameter from lama actually give me five which is the closest answer so both of them are wrong but gbt 3.5 is far wrong but when i asked the lama model to summarize the article to a key points it's far better than the gbt 3.5 I mean, like you can see the, how they created a key point and a secondary point for each main point. And GBT3, I mean, like you just give me a couple of number and points, no details. And here the format of the article key points itself is super good. I see that the 8 billion parameter is very good at summarization. The key question that you need to answer before doing fine tuning, do you need actually fine tuning the model or not? So I made this detailed comparison between fine tuning and reg. When to use which one and the benefit of each one. 
when you fine tune, when you have a specific use case, basically, if you want to create a specific use case that require the model to perform a certain tasks like sentiment analysis, translation, or make it generate code for a specific language. Also, if you have a ton of a good high quality label data, customization, when you need this model to understand and generate domain specific terminology or understand certain style, might be for doctors, performance, the fine tuning actually fosters in Ray, but it also requires you to have GPU that's powerful enough to run this model if you're gonna run it on your own private local machine. The last point of when to fine tune a model is the privacy and security. When your application or your data have sensitive data that you shouldn't be shared with the external system or user for retrieval, this is when you fine tune your model. When to build a RAG system instead of fine tuning model. What makes RAG extremely good is the dynamic information retrieval. If your data frequently change or updating like news article, real time data, or evolving database, you use RAG, not fine tuning. The second point when you have a large knowledge base, when you need to access like big big data set you use rag who is embedding when you have an open domain question on answering task this is when you use rag especially in the big range of source of data one of the main and key reason to use rag system instead of fine tuning is that fine tuning can be expensive because you have to run this model on a gpu to fine tune it. A RAG doesn't need that. All you have to do is connect it to the model and the data sets, and you might need an open source vector database. The last point that I have is scalability. When you need system that is scale with the growing amount of data that you have, you don't fine tune, you use a RAG system. Here is a comparison between the fine tuning and the RAG itself. I'm gonna leave you this actually in the description so you can access it and know which one to use and when and performance and scalability and maintaining and response time by the way the response time is can be faster in rag if you use something like rock in this fine tuning example i'm using Ansloss. Ansloss is a free library that you can use for fine tuning most of the model that's small on google collab for free at the start it's clone the repo of Ansloss itself from github and install the main library that you're gonna be used like Xformer, Buffett, Bits and Bytes, and Accelerate. And here it select the 8 billion parameter model from the Lama on Ansloss. There is additional model here available that you can also fine tune for free. And then it start working on setting the LoRa adapters. LoRa is a method of training model by freezing the current model data in adding on top of it a new knowledge without changing the old one moving to data preparation here it's using custom data set called the albeca cleaned as the data that will be fine tuning this model the albeca clean have three different columns one for output one for input and the third one is instructions and here it write a custom code that will take the three element to format it into a one thickest column so it brought them all together into this kind of format as you can see here instruction input and the response and the final step before hitting the train button is the setup of the supervised training here it gave it the model tokenizer what kind of data set what field in this data set that i should look at then setting the training argument. The first thing is batch size. The batch size, the more that you increase it, the faster the training will be. But also it will consume more VRAM of the T4 that we have. This is a free Colab notebook. It doesn't have a lot of VRAM available for us, but a two or a four can be a good. Don't increase it to 10 and 12 and all this big number. It will start to give you errors. You can change the warm up steps or the learning rate or the max steps will not affect you as much and will not give you out of errors and finally hit the training button 
This cell will train the model on the data set format that we created above. It took it about seven, almost seven minutes to train the model on the 60 steps and it's less than one ebook. And you can see here more information about it and you can notice in each step the learning rate going down and up and you can select which one is the better for you. Now let's run this model that we have created on a simple questions. Using the alpaca prompt format, we give it a questions. Continue the Fibonacci sequence and it will give you an input as an example. We will expect the output from the model. Here, after it take the input, it gives us a response over here. I start with 13, 21, and it continue to the end. So yeah, it's working right now. As you can see, the model that we have created is functional. You can also use text streamer instead of using the tokenizer batch decode. It have a better format when you look at it. The instruction is over here, the input is here, and the response in the end. Now for saving the LoRa adapter that we have created for this from this model, you have two options. The first one is push it to Hugging Face if you wanted to save it on cloud, or you can use the save pre-train to save it on your PC. And now if you want to load this LoRa adapter, we save you can use either this message of code you change this false to true and it will load the model that we have you can start use it easily there is also the option of using the auto model for perfect casual lm but warning here it say it's obviously slow it's basically slower than the original one that the, the first option that we have here there is also supporting saving to a different kind of format the float 16 and you also can save it to a GGUF or lama.ccbb and it will automatically save it for you and push it also to hug and face or download it on your machine. So that's it for fine tuning this model. It's not that difficult. All you have to do is create your own custom data or get your own one from Kigo or hug and face. There are already a plenty of them. You don't have to pay money to fine tune model like this anymore. And soon I'm going to give you also alternative to Google Colab that you can use for this kind of stuff in upcoming video very soon. I'm going to leave you the links for the code resources and an article about the Lama 3.18 billion parameter model down there in the description and how you can use it. So if you found this video useful for you, please hit like button. It will help my channel a lot. I'm trying to improve my videos and provide more high quality information in a small amount of time. So it will motivate me to create even more videos for you guys. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.